guys and um you guys already know my name is Shay and welcome back to this week's um anger management class so today we have with us Miss Tawanda Reynolds hi everybody um my name is Tawanda Barbisha Lawanda Reynolds and I'm here today in anger management because I was forced hey hey y'all hey so let me go ahead and tell y'all my story so, a whole bunch of stuff happened, and you know, I was supposed to be on my own reality show right now, I was supposed to be having my own talk show, but both of those fell through, because people don't know how to act, and you know, for for a while, you know, I thought it was me, maybe I'm too ghetto, but I mean, I was only ghetto at home, so when I got to work, I was always professional. It was just people's work ethic and that they couldn't come to work every day. They wanted to cancel and stuff like that. So I had to whoop their ass. And that made me lose my show. So, of course, now the last final straw was me beating up the child protective lady thing because she was talking mess and she thinks that her fat ass couldn't get her ass whooped and she did. And what? So, you know, she thought that, you know, she couldn't get in. She got whooped out and towed up. And, uh, and you know, that was just it. Miss Tawanda, that was a very unique story. You see, I had the same story back when I wasn't saved by God himself. You know, I always told people, if you got up in my motherfucking face, I was going to hit you your motherfucking face back. But after that, you know, people really, you know, the world just came more brighter after I got saved and everything just became so much better. But fuck people still don't fucking play with me. So, does anyone else want to share today? I understand everyone has um, shared this story before, but, you know, maybe uh, one or two people can um, tell Miss Tawanda their story. And so she can feel at home. I guess I'll go. So, hi, um, my name is Rhonda, and um, ooh, my story is um, people used to always tease me because my favorite colors were red and green. So I always loved to wear red and green. So every day in school, I used to always either have my green hair on and a red dress or my red dress and you know, you know, just, you know, just green hair, either green or red hair or green or red dress. And this one person stepped up to me and she said, Hey, why are you wearing red and green? This ain't no Christmas time, motherfucker. And I was like, so, you know, it doesn't have to be Christmas time to, you know, love red and green. Well, that's dumb as fuck with your stupid ass. So I, I proceeded to bring a gun to school the next day. And um, I shot about four students. No one died, so that's the good part. And um, they labeled me um, psychotic and bipolar and schizophrenic. Of course not. People just need to understand that I can wear whatever I want, man. Duh. So that's my story. Welcome to Wanda. Well, I thank you to everyone for being so polite and very much polite. Thank you, Rhonda. And uh, thank you, Mache, for definitely having me here. And I feel very, you know, comfortable with being here. So I might come back next week. I might. Don't, you know, bank on it. But I mean, I might. It's a 10% chance that I might. 90% chance that I don't. So overall, I may not. But thank you guys so much for having me. Girl. I don't know. I think it's maybe it's time for a change. Maybe what I'm doing, how I'm acting is not right. Maybe it's just not, you know, destined for me. What, like, I stay broke. I stay unhappy. I stay beating somebody up. I stay going after job after job, getting blessing after blessing and then losing it. It's just like I have no 
family. I have no faith. Maybe I lost. I don't know. Maybe I should go back to this anger management thing. <laughs> Here I was thinking I, I could be ghetto fabulous every day. No. I gotta grow up and become something, even though I'm already 30. <laughs> I gotta grow up and become something. But girl, thank you for letting me talk to you. <sighs> thank you so much, China.